How you guys doing? Greenworks Pro 60 volt. We are freezing, baby, right now. We are in the works of winter here. We got big snows that have already happened and that are coming this way. I'm sick of breaking the back, man, with the shovel out there. Uh, being a Midwestern American dad, I'm looking for something a little easier. Went to Lowe's and picked up this uh, unit that I'm going to show you today. Uh, it's pretty easy to use, pretty simple. You guys will see her in action as uh, my wife's doing our driveway actually with it. If it's your first time here, please add a subscription, a like, a comment. It's, it's so valuable and I thank you so much. Uh, subscriptions, all this kind of stuff is just for free. It's just a click. Would help us out so much. Let's get right into the video of my wife using this unit. See if it's pretty effective. And I got a little synopsis at the end. We'll show you the unit, how easy it is to operate and so forth. So again, thank you for tuning in. Enjoy. Hey guys, first day of 2022, absolute freaking snow blizzard. So I got the uh, wife's out here with the battery powered snow blower. So a lot of people uh, scoff at battery powered pretty much anything. It's weak and so forth. Well, we didn't have to worry about fuel, oil, priming, starting, ripping that sucker open. Literally plug in the battery and go. So we have the chargers kind of set up in the garage, which I'll rotate and show you. Sorry, it's a little disorganized. Got a lot of Christmas things hanging up. But that back bench there, we kind of have our battery set up. We have some outlets. So we have them going uh, pretty much constantly. Everything we use is battery here. Weed whackers on down. So as you can see, it's doing a pretty damn good job. We're in the middle of a heck of a snow blizzard. First day of the year, of course. Um, we're supposed to get 8 to 10 inches, so we're about halfway through, I think, 4 p.m. right now. And as you can see, that's pretty thick snow, pretty deep. They haven't even plowed the streets yet because we're in the middle of a blizzard. Check this out. So you can see the cars even coming. We're going super slow down the road. And the little snowblower is doing its thing. Once in a while, when you get to some edges like that, she gets a little bogged down. You just push a button, restart it, and it goes. But we're talking like down to the pavement. I think it's pretty, uh, pretty awesome little snowblower for the cost. I think this thing was only like two or three hundred bucks. We got it a couple years ago. So I am a huge proponent of battery operated. Don't knock it, thinking you need some huge diesel V8 to freaking plow your little driveway. So I would assume if you live more rural of course and you have giant drives to do you might need a little larger but if you live in a urban home like we do on a normal street you see it's down to the pavement and does a pretty damn good job and anybody can run it so there's your little review of the product all right you guys now that you've seen the bad boy in action you see my wife out there doing the walks uh, we've actually done it three times, the driveway and the walks and everything that you guys have seen. And we're still at a half battery, which is pretty impressive. You literally just lift this door up here, you press one button, and you just pop the battery out. So this is very simple to do. You just put it in a charger in the garage or wherever you have it located, the battery itself. Um, the whole unit's pretty small. It's pretty lightweight. Again, um, this is the 60 volt um, green works. Here's a green safety handle. You pull this back press the button it starts it has little led lights here even if you're going to do it in the evening or what have you um, as soon as you let this lever go it turns off here's another black lever here and this changes the hood positioning as you guys can see blow it left to right super simple again once you let this go you're done so we still have another half battery to go before we even have to charge it up we have a pretty reasonable size walk and it got right down to the cement so uh, one disclaimer, though, before I go on, we don't know how it would operate if we waited days. So if a bunch of people walked on the drive, a bunch of people drove on it, you know, it becomes ice. I don't know if this is going to be strong enough to cut through all that ice, but normally I don't wait when I do, when it snows, sleets or anything. If I'm going to use this unit, it's right away. I just get out there and get at it because I don't want it to freeze over and maybe have some accidents in the drive. So. I just wanted to give you a little synopsis of the machine, um, kind of the size of it, what the looks of it, how easy it is to operate, really. And um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching.